the bent over dumbbell reverse fly. Opportunity for us to train that upper and middle back. So we're thinking about the uh, muscles between those shoulder blades here. Now we've done this in a chest supported position and that's perfectly fine to regress back to if you feel any discomfort in your back. However, at this point you should have good core control to stabilize this position and make it happen. So brace your belly like you would in any other bent over position. Push that butt back and we are looking for somewhere between a 45 and a 90 degree angle to the floor. Depending on your mobility, get to the position in which you can maintain that flight flat back and you can widen your stance if needed if that helps you get a little bit lower, okay? From here, we're letting those shoulders fully round. The palms are facing each other. We're thinking about the elbows and the hands pulling apart from the body. Shoulder blades retract back together. And then as those hands come forward, we are fully rounding that upper back. Now, because we don't have the chest supported position, you're gonna want to add a little bit of bounce in English to get it going. Don't do that. Stick with that posture, be perfect in your technique. Again, these are lightweight exercises and own every inch of the position. Squeezing those shoulder blades and rounding that back with each rep.